Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today it is Thursday. I was so tired last night and I slept so well. I had a shower before bed and because you know like once you're in the park all day and we were at Magic Kingdom yesterday, you just need to like wash the day off. So I had a shower last night, got into bed and literally fell asleep within like a second. But I woke up this morning and I'm feeling super refreshed and I am super excited about my day in Animal Kingdom. Do you know what? Animal Kingdom is actually one of my favourite parks and I think that's because of hmm, the culture. I know and that sounds kind of weird because obviously we're in Florida but they just seem to capture the culture and when I walk through like the Harambe village and everything and Luke has actually been to Africa on holiday before he met me but I just think that that is actually it just really feels like I could be in Africa and I just absolutely love it because I love travel and anything like that. I kind of feel like I'm doing a lot of things in one when I go there. So I'm really excited to go and uh, explore Animal Kingdom. I've got our reservation at 8 o'clock for Tusker House because no one's got time for that. We have to just get going. We need to get the rides done. It wasn't going to do us any favours anyway because the park opens at 8, so whatever. Um, so we're trying to work out whether we do Kilimanjaro Safari or Flight of Passage. So that's the big question at the moment. Luke and I have purchased the Genie Plus again, so we can just hop right on some of those offers, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I will take the camera with me. And do you know what though? I need to get photos because I'm seriously too busy trying to remember to like get this camera out and vlog and stuff. And I keep forgetting to take photos and everything. Um, so I must do that today because I'm only here for a week so I haven't got like another opportunity to go back and do it all again. But anyways, come with, we're going to explore Animal Kingdom. Good morning from Animal Kingdom and it is busy. So we literally got in and we have headed straight to Flight of Passage and Flight of Passage is on a 60 minute wait so far. So 60 minute um, and we're just going to queue it. Even though we could actually get a card for it, couldn't we? But we're going to queue it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to queue that. <laughs> but yeah, crazy busy already, 60 minutes. Because uh, it, the park was open 30 minutes beforehand for anyone that was actually staying on Disney property. So we were, we're at a little bit of a disadvantage, but that's okay. We'll just, um, we're going to wing it. and. I'm excited to get on there. Henry's actually never done it, so we're excited for him to do it. He didn't do it last time, so he'll love it, so that'll be good. But 60 minutes, I've got my timer on, so let's just see how we get on. We've just done it, flight of passage. It was literally an hour, literally. From, yeah, from the time we queued, from the time we, to the time we actually sat on the Banshee, I timed it all and it was one hour. Laura and Henry have now gone off and they're going to do their own thing. We've actually paid to go on the ride again. Yeah, so 350 Because it's I'm such back. amazing. So how much was it? Uh, $14 each. $14 and that'll get us another time on there. Guys, top tip, put your hands up in the air because it honestly feels like you're flying and it's the most amazing experience like feeling ever. So Luke and I are now just going to make our way to Africa. Africa. Kilimanjaro Safari is our next lightning lane. Yeah. We're also going to try some snacks, well, later on when we go back to Avatar Land. Yeah, That's we did have an 8am uh, lightning lane for uh, Everest. Oh yes, we did. Went down, so we got a multiple experience. Yeah, I really hope it comes back. So, is it still... Weird, it, it, it went to, because it was down, it, it swapped it to a multiple experience, but then it let me book straight away another lightning lane, which right. I didn't think would, it would, it would do that. I but, know. Um, yeah, so I can use that all day, plus I managed to get the safaris, so. So rides that we really want to do here are, let's flip that around. Rides that we really want to do here is, um, well obviously Flight of Passage we've done, we want to do, or Everest, hopefully that'll be up and running. We want to do Kilimanjaro Safari, which is where we're heading next. Ride-wise, you want to do Rap River. Cali River, River Rapids. Rapids yep. Is that kind of it? Oh, dinosaur. And dinosaur, yeah. And Sarah. dinosaur. Triceratops spin. <laughs> Triceratops I've spin, because we've never done it. They even open, I don't know. So that's what like you really want to do. And then obviously we want to get Festival of the Lion King. But I'm not worried about it's tough to see a bug. It's no, tough no. to see a bug. It's tough, tough to, be a bug. to be a bug. I'm not really worried about that. So. 
but we should see. This is a nice quiet area, isn't it? I love that. Sun is coming out as well, actually. So. Waiting for one of my favourite shows, Festival of the Lion King. First time ever that we haven't actually booked a fast pass, we'll call it a fast pass because the old one, but we didn't book a lightning lane or anything. We just kind of rocked up because I saw the show was going on. Yeah, like, so we rocked up about 22 and we've got a really decent view. So we're like in the centre and we're just uh, up higher a little bit. But obviously, because it's raised platforms here, anyways, I don't really think it's really easy, is it? I would prefer to be central on the side though. Wouldn't you? Yeah. We are central, so that is good. Um, yeah, and after this, it's Kilimanjaro Safari. extinct. The last remaining male did sadly pass away a few years ago. There's only two females remaining. So extensive conservation efforts have been put in to prevent that from happening with the southern white rhinos on our reserve. And it's going very well. In fact, in the last few years, southern white rhinos have gone from critically endangered uh, to just regularly endangered. So uh, definitely some good progress that will let them cross the road here. <laughs> Now there is one big cat who's definitely big enough to roar, taking a snooze on the Kofi rocks to our left. That is of course a male African lion. Now over there's a lioness behind him too. These lions are showing us what lions do best in the daytime, which is sleep. Lions do sleep or rest for about 16 to 20 hours per day. They like to try to save their energy until it's a little bit cooler outside at nighttime to hunt. Can't really blame them for that. But when that time to hunt does come, it will be female lions, like the lioness further up, who will do most of that hunting. As majestic as male lions are, we always love to see him with his beautiful bushy mane. Uh, they really don't hunt very much. Instead, the males are mostly going to be in charge of staying at home with the little ones. But while they're apart, the male and female lions can still keep track of each other from nearly six miles away, just with how incredibly loud those famous roars can be. Now here on the left, we do have a warthog who's exploring the area above ground. Oh, actually, all three of them. So warthogs are Africa's largest burrowing animal. They get, are very closely related to the domestic pig you can see in their faces. And now warthogs get their name from those wart-like protrusions that stick out from the sides of their faces. It looks like cheekbones. Those are actually just extra sets of skin. Oh, wow. So the last part of our reserve is going to be here in the Magadi Glen home to the warden's post and to the Nigerian dwarf goats. These dwarf goats are a very small, super cute domesticated goat species kept here on the reserve. You can also pet goats just like them along with some other animals over at Rafiki's Planet Watch while you're here in the park today. But I also want to draw your attention to that yellow, kind of rectangle, triangle-shaped box there in their yard. That is part of a beehive fence. And that beehive fence comes from the Elephants and Bees Project, a really cool conservation program that was started right here with Disney. And that program all started because for a very long time in Africa, farmers were having a lot of issues with elephants trampling and eating their crops. Elephants are very big after all, they're going to eat about 300 pounds of food per day, so naturally they just eat whatever they come across. But for a while there, the farmers had no other solution than to trap and poach those elephants. Those crops are their livelihoods after all, it is how they make their living. So some farmers in Kenya partnered with scientists here at Disney, and it was through their research it was actually discovered that elephants are afraid of bees. So they simply started putting up those hanging beehive fences around their crops, and it almost instantly solved the issue. It kept the elephants safely far away, and also gave the farmers an extra source of income because they now sell that honey in their local villages. Everest on our lightning lane which was honestly just like a walk on I don't know let's say 10 minutes but even like if that I'm not even sure 
Charlie River Rapids is a really short wait time, so we're going to do that now, and we've got our lightning lane for Dinosaur. Yeah, Dinosaur's 25. Swapped it from Cali to Dinosaur. Yep. River Rapids still like a 10 minute walk on. So right, that's fine. We I reckon when that. it warms up, they're probably going to yeah, jump on it. Yeah, it's getting more. hotter. It's 24 now. It hurts to be 28. Is that twice? So I know that's the one twice you mean. Speed, but there was one up here that was making all the noise. Yeah. Swirling around. Oh no. I thought that was Triceratops spin. Uh, we're at the Royal, wherever that is, whatever that says, the tea company. Royal, I can't say that. And we've just got ourselves a frozen chai. I couldn't say it. And a dapuru. And a dapuru. Frozen chai? Yeah. Let's try the frozen chai. Did you get one? No. Share it with her. If you love chai, you will love this. And I love chai. What are you saying? Nice, huh? Isn't that good? Do you like it? Mm. That is so good. It's thicker than I thought. It's like a milkshake, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's got, so it's like a, the consistency of like a frap. Sorry. Yeah. That's nice, though. That's not too icy, either. I think sharing stuff is a, is a better way, because otherwise you, feel, you can fill yourself up so quickly on anything, couldn't you? So our plan is to head over to Avatar Land. Land of Avatar. Pandora. Thank you. And have a check out the snacks, really, because we haven't eaten since breakfast. Well, that is um, a lie. Luke had a bagel and I had half a bagel and then we shared a granola bar. Cause, um, but we did have some pecans. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were good, so we shared those. The amount of food though that I could consume here is insane. Oh, sometimes you never, you don't notice things. I've never noticed that before. Because you're rushing this morning. A reservation for Tiffins, but we have actually cancelled that because we have, um, we managed to get an Ohana for about half three on Saturday. And seriously, when Ohana comes up, you have to get it. I'm right, aren't I? So. It's all we can eat, isn't it? They just keep bringing over the skillets and stuff. And Absolutely, whatever. Yeah. yes. So good. It is a strange time to eat, but listen, we're not going <laughs> to. We're not going to moan about that. We also have a reservation on Saturday to come here. We've booked, we've booked a park day for Animal Kingdom. But we'll just see what we want to do. We'll do Gatorland in the morning. And then Ohana's, but that doesn't matter because we're still on Thursday. He's like loving the photo pass. It's worth noting that, yeah, you, you can actually go up to any of the cast members that you see with the camera. If they're just standing there, they will take your photo. Oh, 100%. And also I have heard people actually ask for the magic shots. So if you're not getting any, you can actually ask for that as well, can't you? So, definitely take advantage of that. It's a hot, hot day, isn't it? Yeah. 27. Yeah, it feels good though. Oh, it does feel good. I'm, not, I'm definitely not complaining about that, especially after. Yeah. Especially after the cold. I don't really know what this restaurant's called. Oh, that's all right. We'll have a look. Oh, is it on here? No. Oh, yes, it is. It's called the Setuli Canteen. Here we go. So we're in Setuli Canteen, and well, Luke's got the got the cheeseburger, cheeseburger buns. buns. Can you see that? Right there. And I went. Well, we're both. We're going to just share the tofu because I thought it was a kids one. I didn't. I didn't really want a big one. So I've got the tofu with a salad and a herby dressing, basically. So, yes. Take a little photo. Yeah. So I've got my herby dressing. This is my herby dressing, isn't it? It is. It is indeed. So, it's got, like, uh, little 
little little balls, I forget what they're called, and salad and yeah, some crispy tofu. Uh, the receipt, I just saw it but I've lost it. I'm gonna say how much it comes to you then. Sorry. Uh, no, I think it was about $31 for these and obviously then we just got two bottles of water as well. So. You can get our oranges with it though. No, because it's not kids meal. Oh, right. goes on about these. That's pretty good. Is it? Mm. Yeah? Has it got like a sauce in it? Um, or is it just burger meat? Just like a burger meat. Se nice, seasoned? Mm. Yeah, like peppery. So is it like an actual burger or just ground beef? It's got beef, it's ground beef, but it's got it tastes a bit of gherkin in it as well. Oh, okay. That's nice. And then you got that come with chips, didn't it? Yeah. And slaw. Mm -hmm. Chips and slaw. A little bit of the dressing. Um, salad. Oh, the salad's lovely. And a bit of the tofu. Is it warm? No. No? No. The tofu is kind of warm, but yeah, it's really nice. Nice flavour. Nice crunch. I went for the salad. You can have it with noodles and I think, or rice and peas, but I went for the salad. That is good. I think there are lots more photo pass opportunities um, around the well, Magic Kingdom and here than I've yeah. seen before, especially here actually. There's loads here. Yeah, it seems like um, yeah, a lot, lot more than I, uh, I remember, put it that way. Yeah, that's, yeah there's, there's, we've seen so many. I think that's because you do have to have more wait time here. Oh, in the park now. Oh, okay, so we are doing Navi. The standby is 50, but we have our lightning lane. So it's time to start the timer. Oh, yeah. See how long it took as a point of entry for us to get on Navi. Not our favorite ride, and we wouldn't have done it really, but we managed to grab a lightning lane, and we have done everything else that we wanted to, so we thought, well, why not? Through Pandora we go. Oh, oh, here's the queue. Guys, I've made a friend. Guys, I've made a friend. I said to Luke earlier, I haven't seen any lizards. And look, he's been hanging around with me for the last couple of minutes. He's super cute. Bless him, love him. He doesn't know where to go. You can come with me, I don't mind. Like pineapple cream. Oh, I'm sorry. So we've just stopped at. Where is this? Is it? We're in Pandora. Yeah, it's like the, it's the little drink shack by the shop. Yeah, the little drink shack. Out of the shop. Yes, the little drink yeah. shack by the shop. Um, to get the night blossom because everyone raves. I think I've had a night blossom though when we did the after hours. Yeah. And then Luke also got the cream. It's the pineapple. Pongo lumpa thing. The what? It's a, the Pongu Lumpia. Lump, okay. It's a oh, is this called Pongu Pongu? Yeah. Right, so the shack is called Pongu Pongu and this is a Pongu Lumpia. Lump, and it's like a little roll. Uh, and it's got pineapple and cream in it. Go for it, take that bite. It's like, um, like an apple pie. Yeah. It's good, yeah. It's really nice. Shall I have some? Yeah. Okay. I've still got a little friend hanging out with me, which of course I love. Right. Oh, it's warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, it looks good. It looks soggy. Good, right? Mm. Like a warm apple pie, isn't it? 
warm pineapple pie. Mm. A pineapple pie, yeah. That's really good. Let's try this drink. Give me two seconds because you know what I've got to do now. Take a photo of that. There we go. Oh, he's coming back to you. Pongy Pongy there. Just on the right when you come out of the gift shop. Oh, oh sorry, left. Oh no, it's under your feet, don't you? Go on. Worried about a lizard. That is absolutely delicious. This is the blossom, the night blossom. Night blossom. Night blossom drink. That is absolutely delicious. No, sorry, I'm not, I'm not panicking. Don't put your foot down. He's literally edging under your foot. Go on then, the night blossom drink. Oh yeah. <laughs> Quite sharp, isn't it? It's a bit special, isn't it? Nice, huh? Really good. From Pongu Pongu. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> I'm actually worried about a um, I'm worrying about this lizard down here. It's panicking me. So yeah, okay. So wow, check in. It's literally like half four, and we have done like so well, haven't we? Um, we've done flight of passage twice today. We've done Everest twice. We've done dinosaur. We've done Cali River Rapids. Um, We've done Navi River Journey. Navi River Journey. It's tough to be a bug and Festival of the Lion King. We have done so much and Safari. Oh God, and Kilimanjaro Safari. We did it this morning and the animals were like, I mean, I, I feel. The rhino crossing. I mean, honestly, the rhino crossing in front of us. There was so much going on. It was ridiculous. It was the best. It was such a good time to do it. We did it about half, half ten. 10:30. Really, really good. That's fine. Governable. Um, so yeah, now we're just um, we're just contemplating our next move really. So we stopped to get a drink, and I think we're just gonna. I don't know where Laura and Henry are at or what they're doing. Um, we managed to stop for a light bite for lunch, and obviously just a little snack as well. But yeah, I think the park isn't like too too busy. I mean, it is busy, but it's not too, too busy. Too, too busy. I don't know if that's even a word. But you don't have to queue for the toilets or anything. And Pandora, the wait time has now dropped again to 60 minutes, which isn't too bad because it went really quickly when we queued earlier. So I think it's definitely worth jumping in that queue for 60 minutes. But I've had like a really good day. This is like one of my favorite parks. Oh, here we go. Luke's just found the um, menu for the Pongu Pongu. So yeah, Pongu Pongu. So we, we had the, the Night Blossom. So layers of apple and dessert here. Ooh. Uh, limeade, top with the uh, boba, boba balls. Boba balls. Boba balls. Yeah. And then the pongu lumpia. 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 Pineapple cream cheese spring roll. Okay, so it's three dollars seventy nine, and the drink was six dollars seventy nine as well. Not too bad. I thought I looked at that. I thought that wasn't, wasn't too bad, but I mean. Could it have been bigger? Yeah, I thought it was bigger. <laughs> Could have been bigger, guys. My little friend is still down here. He's panicking me now because he's a bit. Oh, you know what I get like with animals, Lou. I don't want to take them home. Right, so what do you think we'll do next, then? Don't know, really. I know. Little it's been a... Do you know what? It's been a good day. At Animal Kingdom, you can 100% get done in a day. I seriously. There's no need to do this twice on any trip. We never do, do we? We only ever do it once. So, yeah. yeah we can't do twice. It's Magic Kingdom. Magic really. Kingdom. But we did it done, in a day. Done really well yesterday. But we can fist bump. Let's fist bump. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Um, I'm going to worry about my lizard friend some more. I guess maybe we'll drink our drink and we'll just reassess the sitch. Yep. Yeah.